Hey yo! Hello! Alrighty, so I'm Deidre. And I'm Angie. And today we're just gonna kinda we're all gonna go to lunch together. Yeah. And it's kinda get to get get to know us. Wow, I can't speak. Yeah, that's gonna be all day. <laughs> I've been uh, stuttering all day. So Deidre just picked me up from class. Yeah. Um their teacher didn't even show, bother showing up too. Normally she's late, like by like 15, 20 minutes, right? So we're all waiting there, and then it's been like hit 30 minutes, and people are like, where the fuck is she? Because last time she was like, oh, I got stuck in the elevator. She didn't hit the button. So Me too, though. Yeah, so where do we want to go? I don't know. Last um, time we went to Bourbon and Toulouse. Bear and the Butcher. Bear and the Butcher was closed. Right. Um, Food near me. Yeah, neither do I. Um, all right, let's start off with one question about us. Um, oh, God. Where are we from? Chicago. I'm a mix of places. <laughs> I was born in Ukraine, lived in Chicago for seven and a half years, and now we're in Kentucky, both of us. Yeah, so. we both live in Kentucky. So, tell me I'm from Eastern Europe. <laughs> I'm fancy like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate you. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. No, you don't. I do. You love me so, so We're much. We're gonna see if the camera goes sliding. Oh, God. I need to get a mount for my dashboard for the camera. Probably. Probably. So. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> my brain ain't working today. <laughs> All right, so we're probably gonna end this here so we can jam out, and then yes. we will see y'all when we get to the restaurant. What's your friend? I got it. Let's get our food. Let's get the cookies. And I got the portobello burger. Alrighty, so we realized right about, towards the end of our meal. Yeah, we were like 50 way, 50% 50 through like all of our questions. Um, when we realize that there's loud background music and we might get copyrighted. So we are on our way to a secondary location. Um, but the food was fantastic. The food was amazing. And our waitress was gorgeous and amazing. And we hope that she has a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Um, and we hope to see her again, to be honest. Yeah. But, so we're going to a secondary location to film the video. Um, so we will get back to you guys once we are there. All right, Woo! we are at our new location. I have an angle for me, by the way. Yeah, I need to back up. This is yeah. really close. <laughs> Except mine's a short, the little. <laughs> electric. Well, at least we're not in my car, but both of them are fucking electric. <laughs> Just slowly. <laughs> All right, this one was, what are you passionate about? And I said mine was probably keeping up with Louis Tomlinson and all the people I stand. And then drawing. I said food. Yes. Drawing too. What's your favorite holiday? Halloween, uh, spooky Halloween. season, Thanksgiving, Woo! that whole spooky season. I don't hate Thanksgiving, but. But she always ends up sick. <laughs> yeah, I always end up sick from it, so. Who knows you best? Each other. We yeah, know each other better than our boyfriends do. Yeah. It's like anytime a boyfriend's scared that something's wrong with me, she's just explaining like, no, she's just... She's just fine. She's fine. She's, she's fine. just struggling right now. Yeah. <laughs> she's struggle bussing. She's struggle bussing bad. <laughs> um, who was your hero? I said my grandfather. I said my mama. My mama. My grandfather. Uh, no, sir. Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a day without? Sam and Colby. Sam and Colby. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Or each other. Yeah. Except 
you and I are busy, busy, and we don't really. Yeah, but like the days that we get to like hang out. Yeah. Like I remember we hung out during the day, and then later that night we're like we're gonna hang out again. Yeah. We saw each other like two hours later, and we were like we miss each other so much. <laughs> Grant was just so confused by that. So. Yeah, Alex doesn't get face or anything with us anymore. Yeah, Alex is just. Alex is just there. He just exists most of the time. We'll um. If your pet could talk, what do you think they might say about you? Oh, yeah, burnt chicken nugget. So my Yorkie, he'd probably go, what the fuck are you doing with your life? But then also, I love you, I love you, I love you. And Lucky would just always be either play with me, play with me, play with me, or um, let me bite you, let me bite you. <laughs> um, Chewy would be, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Or uh, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wicket would say, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Mm -hmm. Or saying, get the fuck away from me, over and over again. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, say if I can donate or not, that's your choice. What is your strangest irrational fear? Being swallowed by a whale. I know it's not physically or humanly possible. They can not swallow anything bigger than a grapefruit, but I'm still scared of it. Um, not living up to my expectations. That's fair. That's fair. This one I didn't have an answer to either. Uh, what? Oh, actually, maybe we didn't answer this one. Mm -hmm. What did you do as a teenager that makes you cringe now? No, we did answer that one. I don't know where your answer was the leggings with the jeans or the double thing, just as tank tops. Oh yeah, because we changed that to childhood. So what would you, what did you do as a in your childhood that makes you cringe now? Um, what kind of answer yours for you? Yeah, I mine you. is those freaking justice tops that were like double layered, and uh, wearing jean shorts with leggings. Mine was. No, that was the outfit. No, that was the outfit. No, we didn't. It didn't say specifically outfit, but it was anything that you. That you no, about. teenager cringes. I said oof and oop. Here, you didn't have an answer for that one. It was what? Well, let's just combine them both. Yeah. Okay. So, my worst outfit that I regret the most as like younger was I wore skinny jeans. They're like plaster. They're like the also they're like the stiff ones. I love skinny jeans, but not. I do too, but the stiff jeans. ones. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And then I wore a black tank, and on top I wore this like it's like the sweater. I don't know if you've ever seen them. You probably have, but they're like just like the one strand knit, so they have holes in them, so you can see through it, right? It's pink and blue. See, if it wasn't pink and blue, I feel like that wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, but with the stiff jeans that were like yeah, with the dark jeans. blue, almost black, with like white shoes, with that on top, and like my thin rim glass with like a bob haircut. No. Icky. Mm -mm. Pixie bob. I don't even know what the fuck it was. Uh, what would your warning label say? Um, crazy, bitchy, and nice sometimes. Would kill a bitch. Would fight a bitch. And a little bit psychotic. A missed way you've injured yourself. I said I did a cartwheel and I somehow landed on my ankle. Like my ankle is like my here's my foot, right? I did that too and I landed like right here. <laughs> I don't know Oof. how. I was fine after, but like I heard like a. <laughs> I dislocated my elbow trying to stop myself from getting a concussion when falling off a trampoline. So like my best friend in middle school her trampoline was like right here and then literally like this far away was her playset uh, or like playground whatever you want to call it and i had stepped their trampoline had all the springs exposed no mats no nothing so i had gone to go get my phone because it was ringing and i think my mom was calling me or something and my foot slipped in between the springs and i started going down and i knew that if i didn't put my arm out to catch myself my head would have smacked against the playset so I put my arm out and my elbow dislocated. Oh. And I would have rather the concussion because I have so many issues with that arm now. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Um, what is your guilty pleasure? We skipped that one by accident. Don't remember what we said. Uh, guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure. Um, 
Oh, I know. Whenever I'm feeling nostalgic, I'll watch My Little Pony. Mine is scrolling through TikTok from the time of 12 p.m. until like 6 a.m. Yeah. Woo. Okay. <laughs> what is the most outrageous lie you told a child or told as a child? I said, um, I, the most, oh my god. I lied to my mom and I told her that the Easter Bunny broke my glasses in November. I don't have, I don't remember like 90% of my childhood. So, uh, I don't know what lie I've ever told if I told like an outrageous lie or not. Uh, but I do lie to kids on the daily at my job um, about like us not having sprinkles and stuff like that when their parents are agitated. But like the biggest one is when kids are like hanging on the counter or trying to use the counter to hold themselves up. Uh, I lie to them all the time and tell them that I watched a kid slip and crack his chin, crack their chin open. Hey. Who do you live with? I currently live with uh, Alexander, my boyfriend, and my two puppies. I currently live with my parents still, uh, with my two puppies and ten chickens. Uh, but we are actually going to be moving in together in the near future. We're not going to yes. give a whole bunch of details about that yet mm -hmm. because someone hasn't told her mother yet. My mother, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, details to come in the future. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. Um, what's your favorite website? AO3, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm doing app because I don't use, like, websites very often, unless you want to count YouTube as a website, because technically it was. Yeah. Uh, but Wattpad. Okay. No one really. Um,. What's your favorite season? Fall. Fall because of spooky season, but I also love winter. That's fair. I love fall because I'm a fall baby and I just I love fall. Ooh. I like the No. What? No. It's almost similar, never mind. I like layering clothes a lot and winter time is the best time to do that, so. So is fall though. Fall you can only have like two layers, otherwise it's too hot. Yeah, that's fair. I like the coldness of winter, but the aesthetic of fall. What is your favorite song? Mine is Face the Music by Lily Tomlinson. Mine is currently Colby Rock Skin. What was the first concert you attended and the best concert? Uh, yeah, my first and best are the same one. I went to a Selena Gomez concert when I was like 10. Um, and the person that I went with, her mom bought the tickets, rented us a limo for the day, and we puffy painted shirts and shorts for it. So, um, my first concert was Marina and the Diamonds, and she goes by Marina, um, and it was her Love and Fear album. And then my favorite concert, and the best concert, is definitely going to be Louis Faith in the Future World Tour one that I went to. Because the wall, walls is good, but Faith in the Future just had a whole different era to it. Oh, Have you ever met a celebrity? If yes, which celebrity did you meet? If no, which celebrity would you like to meet? I have not met a celebrity that I can consciously remember right now. And I would love to meet Louie or Sam and Colby. I would love to meet Sam and Colby. And that's pretty much it at this point right now. Because I don't have time for anything else. But uh, I used to work at a like live music theater and like live show and stuff. So I met a couple like lower, like maybe B-list or C-list celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, but I probably couldn't name very many of them. Um, what are you allergic to? <laughs> we have the most weirdest list of allergies. I'm allergic to the raw bacteria in fish, so I always have to make sure fish is properly... All that bacteria is probably killed off, so I can still have sushi. That's probably be made. Um, I'm allergic to yo plate yogurt. Me too. And I'm allergic to anything and everything outdoors. <laughs> um. I have an allergy to eight different types of grass. Uh, hibiscus flowers specifically, so like I can't have hibiscus tea or like anything like that, or a lot of elderberry teas also have hibiscus in them. Uh, I'm allergic to horses, like severely. Of course I love, I live in the horse capital of the world. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, <laughs> but, uh, and then just, you know, seasonal allergies, 
for the most part, except they last all year round, except for winter. Winter. Same here. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I walk outside and I look like death already, so. Yeah, me too. If you ever see me and I'm not on my meds. Which is pretty much every day, because both of us <laughs> forget to take them. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. What's her favorite color? Louie, blue, or baby blue? Uh, teal or turquoise. How old are you? I am turning 19 on September 28th of this year. I am 21 currently, but I will be turning 22 in March. Okay, um, who's your favorite superhero? I said Spider-Man. Don't really know why I love him, I just do. But, um, otherwise, we guess we kind of counter her. Harley Quinn. I love her because she's very similar like me. I said The Flash. Uh, I didn't give an explanation, but uh, my explanation is kind of because I am, have such a busy schedule and I feel like I can't get everything done, but as a Flash, I'd actually have free time. Honestly? <laughs> uh, but that's also partially because like I don't count Batman as a superhero personally. Superman is like overrated and like those are the only two relevant ones in my head. Who was the best cartoon character? Curse the Cowardly Dog. I was gonna say Tweety Bird. Or Bugs Bunny. Tweety, Tweety. Tweety. Um, if you could own any animal as a pet, what would you choose? I would have said bat up until finding <laughs> a dead bat outside of my work oh. the other day. Lord. I don't want a bat anymore. Which we almost agreed on getting a bat uh, for the new house. I before. refuse. Okay. I refuse. We're not doing a bat anymore. Um, I would say leopard. So imagine the big cuddles. I want a panda. Yes. Or a koala. Oh, nice. Panda or a koala. It's, Either one of those. Is koala and how we get Chloe broke into the house? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. Just come on, come on. We got a koala. <laughs> If you could travel to the past and change one event, would you? Which one and why? I would not. Because the past is what brought me where I am today. I would do one, and that is to not to not have the war in Ukraine. That's fair. Because that's my home. I don't want it to be bummed up. Um, if you could switch lives with any person with any one person for one day, who would you choose? Oh my goodness, I am stuck between Sam or Louie. I would love to just see that. Kind of would say Mr. Beast. I get that. I feel like I would mainly choose Louie just because I want to feel, I want to see how it feels to be up on that stage. How does it feel to be an international pop star? <laughs> I get that. I get that. I'd say Mr. Beast, just because I kind of want to, I just kind of want to be in his shoes and be able to do the things that he does. Yeah. Even though they're not always, not all of them are the best ideas, yeah. but you know, some of them are. Okay, um, do you believe in destiny? Yes and no. Yes and no. I believe that we create our own destiny. Destiny yes. is not just a thing that exists and happens. You, you make your own destiny. I get that. I feel like that's most of the time, but I feel like there's like certain things that are like, the, that was that, you know, like that wasn't a decision you made. That was more just like that was supposed to happen. You know? Oh no, I have I those. I get that, but personally, I don't think that way. However, I can understand why people do. Yeah. What do you think is your best quality? <laughs> Getting egotistical here. Oh no, man. I don't want to go all egotistical on it. Uh, <laughs> I don't have very many great qualities. I am. I am. I think my best quality is that I am nice until you don't deserve me to be nice. That, but also I was going to say, you're really good at like guiding a team. No, oh, thanks. Like, you got that leadership thing. Thanks. I was gonna say, mine I'm pretty sure is like, I'm pretty good about convincing people. <laughs> pretty good about convincing people, whether that be good or bad. 
<laughs> that could be good and bad. Yeah, exactly. The only person you can't convince is me. Just like every time that you're like, oh, I can find the way back. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I can. Are, are we sure about that? Uh, I don't know that that's the smartest idea. Okay, what is your idea of a perfect date? I feel like we've talked about that. I have no clue. I feel like mine would be like, um, just take me somewhere and just start like showing me random things. Yeah, I don't like, like I don't really do dates very often. Haunted tours, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, but like also I feel like that's not necessarily a date idea. That's more a you and me idea <laughs> it's, it's a date idea. We're not a date. That's that's a best friend date idea. Yeah. I feel like that's not really a You date idea. You are more quality time I could see you like wanting to just go out of town with someone and doing a whole bunch of things True Yeah, yeah, but it also depends because sometimes if it's not you I get annoyed with people <laughs> <laughs> Can we switch the topic? Can we talk about something else? Yes. Can we choose another question? Yes. Okay. Am, I, am, I, am I feeding into your ego? No. What is your worst habit? Mine is biting my my cuticles. Um, and my nails. It's disgusting, but it's a really bad habit. Picking at my lips. Yeah, you do. And do bouncing my leg. Yeah, both of us at dinner. Um, We're both doing it right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up. Have you ever had a nickname? What is it? Yes, I go by Angie. Um, or by Ange, by very, very close friends of mine. I'm the one that made that up. My grandfather did. Well, actually. yeah, your grandfather did, but I'm the one of first one of her friends to start using it. That was actually allowed to. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But I normally I, I didn't let ask for permission either. You just I just did started it doing and I was it. fine with and it. And you didn't say anything about it. Yeah. If um, I did, I know you would have stopped, but I've been called D Deej. Uh my family used to call me Dieter. It was the most annoying thing. <laughs> I one of my employees called me that yesterday and I just about smacked him across <laughs> the face. Uh <laughs> and then Didi Wa was also one of my uh, older cousin's favorite things to call me. <laughs> um, and Didi. Yeah, um, I also, middle school, one of my close friends, he would call me She Demon. She, yeah. she Demon? She Demon or She Devil. Or others would call me Angel. I convinced my entire social studies class my sixth grade year to call me Jenna. I don't know how or why. Okay. I think maybe I just had an obsession with Vampire Diaries at the time. Probably. That's probably what it was. Mm. I have a question. Mm. Where's the parking brake in my car? Oh, it's right that. here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, let's see. What makes you laugh the most? the dumb shit that she does. <laughs> um, okay. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Hawaii. Alaska. I wouldn't mind Alaska, but God, what I need to... I want the cold. I felt that. I want the cold. Right now, and I want to go dog sledding, and I want to... I want to go through the... I want to go fucking ice climbing, and... I won't join you on that one, but I'll watch you slip and fall. Ice climbing? It's the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Have you? Did you watch the same cold video? I did, but I would never do it. Why? Have you met me? Okay, but you're you're with someone who knows what they're doing to teach you how to do it. True. They don't just let you go off and do it on your own. I would somehow still end up doing that. <laughs> okay, what are two pet peeves? Um, assuming shit. Yeah. Assuming shit without... Without any facts to back it up. That and also assuming something about me, like uh, my at, like my attitude or how I'm reacting. Assuming that, you know, something's wrong when honestly I'm just tired. I hate when people assume things and they don't even know you. Yes. Uh, and a second one. The pick me girls in school. I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to say... 
Mm. Like, I don't even Just bitchy girls. Just like, bitchy. Like, yeah. Like, I know I'm a bitch, but, like, <laughs> like a, there's, there's certain bitchy degree. girls, and then there's you deserve it bitchy girls. Yeah. Um, like, and I can't stand those, like, overly bitchy for absolutely no reason type of girls. I don't really want to say, like, pick me. Like, like what about that one girl in my class I told you about? She's like, bitchy, pick me. Yeah. Pick me teacher's pet. I don't... I don't Mini Karens. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you could have a dinner party with four people, dead or alive, who would they be? Oh. Robin Williams... I was gonna say Robin Williams. Steve Irwin. Um, Louis Tomlinson. Oh fuck. I was gonna say Robin Williams. No. Sam Colby Jake. Okay. <laughs> okay I love Easy. Steve Irwin, but I feel like I wouldn't have really have anything to talk to him about. So I'm gonna retract him. Louis oh, Tomlinson, Sam and so Colby. Because I feel like that would be just a funny. That would just be a, an amazing dinner party. I feel like. There would be so many different opinions at <laughs> both of our dinner parties that it would just turn into a huge like debacle. And I, I feel like, yeah. I no, I feel like okay. You know what? I like they all like, agree to disagree at the end. Yes, but it'd be a huge debacle for the entire dinner party, and, and it'd no be one's hilarious gonna to shut watch. the fuck up. It's and gonna be hilarious. Either to watch. one of us would be yelling at all of them to <laughs> shut the fuck up so we could talk. No, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like Louie would get if I was Sam and Colby about paranormal. Mm -hmm. Robin would just be making the jokes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's it. No. Damn. Okay. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I love them. Love them? Yeah. I love them too. Adrenaline junkies. Why is it here. still out for delivery? You want to know what we should do? Yes. We should go to Six Flags. Yeah. When does their, no, 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 hold on. When does their, like, um, haunted season start? And they have all the actors. It starts in October. It's normally October 1st through the 31st. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. If it uh, opens on one? October 1st, we can go October 1st. <laughs> Is there a Six Flags out here? No, we'd have to go to Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I'm okay with that. <laughs> also, the first, we're supposed to be... We have plans for the first. <laughs> we'll search it up in a second. Search it up now, yeah. yeah. You keep asking questions and I'll talk while we um, search it. What is your favorite childhood? Uh, no, you don't remember most of your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> what are three items you would take with you on a desert island? Her? Uh, uh, her, my babe, and Dr. Pepper. Yeah, there you go. We're the same exact one. <laughs> What's a drink you can never go without? Dr. 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 Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Uh fight fast starts. I went one year and I'm gonna be honest, it was kind of boring. What is the most unusual thing you've eaten? Frog legs and rabbit. Hated both. Um gator. I had that on Florida. Ugh. And I loved it. It was really good. Uh, they have Halloween Haunt starting on... Uh, that one's on the 22nd. Tricks and Treats Fall Fest is on the 24th. We can go then. Yeah. That was opening night of the haunt, but I mean, if I can't... I can't. If I yeah. can't scare, I can't scare. Yeah. Um, I would rather do something that I would actually enjoy in that moment yeah. before, you know, so. I've never been to Kings Island either. I've never been, but I heard it's really good. It's really close to Six Flags, so. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Amber, or whatever the fucking word is for both. Um. I'm an extrovert with certain people, but I'm an introvert on a regular basis. Plus, I have a really low social battery. Like, I'm not, like, intro introvert 100% social battery where I literally, like, can barely handle people for, like, an hour. I can handle this bitch as long as I want. I can handle Same. my boyfriend as long as I want. <laughs> and I can handle a few close friends as long as I want. Uh, but if I'm around new people, like, I can't handle them for more than, like, two or three hours. Yeah. Um. What song would you say best sums you up? Sweep a cycle. <laughs> Yeah, fair. 
I agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> what the hell? How long have we been recording? I don't know. Uh, 47 oh. minutes. Okay. So we could probably end this here. Yeah. Ah! Well, there goes the mic. Whoopsies. Oh, well. Uh, so, well, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know us. That was our random get to know us. And enjoyed looking at the food that we decided to choose because uh, that's all that I can show you from our video in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment down in the bottom for things that you would like to see us do. Or if um, you have another little question. Yeah, or if you have any questions okay, to ask us. In the next video. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!